Okay, part two to the um, extruder. We've got these two Brent models of uh, extruders over here on the wall. You can see extruder. Um, these ones work a little bit differently. I think they're the easier of the two to set up. Let's see my sign. Don't let the baby bunnies get eaten by the Velociraptor. Okay, this is easy. It just kind of twists. If you don't have a clip on the other side, put that there. Just kind of twists, and that part comes off. Over here behind me are a cabinet full of extruder dies. Let's grab, uh, I don't know, we got square ones. We have all these different shapes in here. Um, I'll just grab a square one and show you how it works. It just kind of rests in that spot. This assembly, oops, it's in the bottom. Tighten it. That's it. Put your clay inside here. Uh, there's a lot more room for the clay to sit. The toughest part about these um, Brent extruders is getting these things to cooperate with you. Once you get the clay loaded up, what you do is kind of lift this and get the plunger. Get the plunger to go down in there and then you plunge down. The clay will kind of grab it a little bit. And then this thing will slide down, plunge it again, that slides down, plunge it again until you get all the way to the bottom. Your clay will be coming out the bottom here. Um, clean up I think is a little bit easier with this one too. You're not trying to remove those uh, squeaky bolts. But um, it's up to you and in, in what you're looking for as far as an extruded piece. If you can't find the die over here, you want to look over at the, uh, at the North Star model um, and try to use that one instead. When you're done, you take the bottom off. I think this is covered in another video. Take this out, try to get some of the clay out of there. And to be honest with you, if you just clear, clean this guy off and try to remove the most of the clay from the holder, it's easier the next day just to come back in the dried chunks of clay and kind of rattle this a little bit. All the clay chunks will come out the bottom and you're done. It's a lot easier than trying to get your hand inside here and scrape out the inside of the tube. So I don't mind if a little bit of clay is left in there, but if you could um, just clean up after yourself a little bit. Same deal with this one, it's just reversed. Same model, just a little bit older version. So, that's it.